if you've ever had to go to a party and you don't know what to bring, a cheese ball is a perfect thing to bring. It's super simple to make, super easy, and everyone loves a cheese ball, so it's just really practical for everybody there. So what you're going to need is two 8 ounces of cream cheese, which when you buy these at the store, they're already measured out, so you won't have to worry about all that. And then you're going to need one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and then you're gonna need one half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, which I believe that's what it's called. It's really hard to pronounce. And then you're gonna need a half, or sorry, one fourth cup of mayonnaise, which I've already measured all this stuff out for the time efficient. Then you're gonna need one third cup of shredded Parmesan cheese, which I have, or you can use grated. And then a half cup of cheddar, which I just decided to use sharp cheddar because there's more flavor in it. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna put your cream cheese in the bowl and you're gonna wanna soften it for 30 seconds. So you wanna do 30 seconds pretty much on the dot because if you do any more than that, it's gonna get liquidy and it's gonna get gross and it's not gonna taste as good and it'll just be bad and then you've wasted like half your ingredients. So you just want to heat this up for 30 seconds. And also, if you've already had this out for a while, you won't need to do the whole 30 seconds. So since I've had it out for a little bit, I'm going to stop it at about five seconds. So here. Cancel that out. So then what I do is you just start throwing everything in, but I like to put the wet ingredients in first because it seems to blend better, in my opinion. So you're going to measure out your sauce right there, and then you don't want to do any more than that or else it can get really like sour tasting and bitter. And then you're going to do your garlic powder, which technically isn't a wet ingredient, but it goes well. It doesn't matter when you put this one in. So put all that. And I personally like a little bit more garlic, so I do about one, uh, two fourths of a teaspoon. And then you're gonna want to put your mayonnaise in. And you're also gonna have a spoon to mix everything, so you can just kind of spoon that out. And then once you do all that, you're just gonna want to mix it. Just mix it as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, because then you're gonna add in your cheese and everything else. So just kind of make sure like everything touches basically, to make sure everything is pretty well. And it does take a little bit of muscle, so don't worry about if you're mixing it too hard because it takes a little bit to get it all together. So just mix it. And it doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to put all your other things in there too. So about there is fine because it's not all going to blend together like soup. So after you've mixed it up pretty much about there, you can continue mixing it, it's not gonna hurt. But after you mix it about there, you're gonna wanna add in your cheeses, which you have Parmesan, just all that. Then your half of cheddar, just right there. And move this out of the way. And then you're gonna mix it all together. <coughs> and like I said, it's kind of hard to mix it because it is a cheese ball, but you're just going to want to make sure you can mix it well enough so that all the ingredients are kind of mixed together so they're not just like a chunk of mayonnaise here and a chunk of cream cheese here because when they eat it, that's what it's going to, that's what it's going to taste like is a chunk of mayonnaise or a chunk of cream cheese. So just keep mixing. very clumpy together which is a good thing you don't want it to be liquidy or like I said soupy you're gonna want it to be pretty stiff Just kind of everything goes together and then this is the part that kind of gets messy 
is you can try to ball it up with your spoon or I personally do it with my hands. So you kind of want to ball it up, which is going to feel a little weird. You're going to ball it, just kind of make it look like a ball. And then this is where you're going to want to add your bacon bits. So after you've kind of put it in a ball, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to use your bacon bits and just cover the outside. Now normally a lot of times this is done with almonds, but because a lot of people have nut allergies and maybe don't know everybody that's going to eat it, who's going to eat it, I do it with bacon because it's just, in my opinion, it's safer and it tastes better. So, I'm going to just want to cover it with bacon on the outside. And so, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a really, really messy dish. And in this case, I only use one bag of bacon, so that's good. And then if it looks about like that, you're going to want to wrap it in plastic wrap. So right through the Just wrap it really well. Kind of keep its shape. And then just tear the paper off. Like that. And then this has to be refrigerated for at least an hour and a half. So I put it in a bowl so that way it just keeps its shape. And then you just kind of want to put it in the fridge. And then in an hour and a half, you can take it out and enjoy it. And I like to put mine with wheat thins so you can just put your wheat thins out on your plate and then you'll be ready to serve it. So like I said, it's super easy, it's super efficient, fun and messy, but it tastes really good. So then, and after an hour and a half, you can enjoy a cheese ball. So, enjoy.